Hello everyone, this is Dan Talbert, and today we will be looking at the Subjugated Great Being, version 2.0. So this is a mock that I had previously done a video on, uh, and a couple, let's say a couple weeks after I originally recorded the video, Actually, no, I think a couple months after the original recording of the video, I decided that I wanted to do some modifications to the mock because the version shown in the video was him after losing his limbs and starting to use mask powers. So I wanted to make uh, this version, which is the now complete canon version. This is his great being form back before the creation of the, back before slash during the creation of the Matoran universe. This is how he looked when he was a great being. Uh, for a size comparison, here he is next to my Pohati mock. So, he's, uh, he fits within my scale, obviously. He's not any taller than he was uh, previously, I just changed some limbs around. So for articulation, there are ball joints for the hips, ball joints for the knees, ball joints for the ankles, uh, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, and then his neck has double ball joint. Uh, and then for his hair piece, there's a ball joint, ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. Uh, and then for this little cover for when weapons are attached to the back, there's a ball joint, ball joint, ball joint. And then this piece can swivel. This is where you store his weapons. Uh, so I wanted to, for the great being form, to give it kind of, not really a unique, but a non-Kanoki for a face. So I use this armor piece from Bionicle Star's toe, Tahu, as a mask. Uh, and then this mask is uh, the mask used in the later forms. So made a little, don't know if you can see it in there, but I made a little stand so that it can be held a hand so those are the masks and then it comes with it just broke you can fold it so I can fix it uh, he has this little uh, welding sort of tool that can be used and then he has his staff which i based off of some artwork i had seen of the great beings that uh someone had used i thought hey that looks cool using the mystica missile piece as the uh, tip of a launcher to kind of replicate replicate that art uh stored on the back you just take the two halves off and you plug them into the thing on the back, and you can just rotate it however you like. Get more dynamic look to it. Uh, of course, that is not all that has changed with the uh, subjugated great being, because obviously this is just a great being form, and we still have two more forms to go. So I've changed into those forms. We have replacement limbs. So the first set of replacement limbs are these. These are his uh, scavenger arms. The idea is he lost his arms during his course of uh, existing after the uh, Great Spirit robot left Vara Magna. So uh, these 
few little studs here will become more important in the final form, but in this form they represent the elements of ice and water, uh, and his heart stone represents the element of light. Because the whole thing with this character basically is since they're a great being they should innately have the elements like built into them, kind of like a Toa, but more powerful in the fact that, uh, like how Mabinui does in The Legend of Reborn, he can give the elements to other characters. So I switch the arms, just pop them off at the elbow. Uh, and then in this form, you remove the weapon entirely because it can't hold that weapon and the attachment point doesn't work for his new weapon. So you can either replace one arm at a time, or both arms, to get the first mechanical arms mode. Uh, there is some articulation added through this mode. You get the fingers, which are now, each finger is on a hinge joint, and then you get this section here, which is um, all of its joints for fitting the shape of the arm. Uh, and then also to turn him into a Kanohi user, you remove his original mask. And you can just put it on the same holder that the Kanohi was on. Uh, and you give him his Kanohi. I believe this is the Picari. I don't remember the Kanohi names very well. Uh, the only ones that I can remember off the top of my head are the uh, the How, the Cow Cow, the uh, Avoki, the Krakan, and the Ignika. Those are just the ones I know off the top of my head. Most of the other masks I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure this is the Bukhari. Uh, so this is the Wanderer form with the uh, scrap-built arms. And I actually like there's four forms. The next form, you want to take off the hairpiece, because this is, he's starting to descend more and more into mechanical replacements. And then you want to remove the legs and get these armored up legs, which you can, I, I interchangeably use them either, I use them as these are his legs with armor, or these are robotic replacements. I switch it up. Usually in this form, I say they're just his legs with armor, and then in the next form, they become uh, mechanic legs. So now it's starting to look kind of similar to the form that I showed the first time that I talked about this figure. Uh, but we are not done. After this form, there's no articulation difference, by the way. The air structure of the legs is the exact same. Now for the final form, what you're going to want to do is completely... Oh, forgot what frame. Completely remove the arms from their sockets and replace them with new arms. These being uh, this arm here with uh, its extra features and an arm that will appear familiar to those who watched the first version of this muck. This is literally the exact same arm he had in his first version. Just tab that in there. And then you're going to want to grab his new blade. And you're going to want to fold this piece down for clearance, put the new blade on, and fold this piece up to lock it into place. And now we once again have uh, an increase in articulation. Uh, he has ball jointed shoulders, he has ball jointed biceps, and he has ball jointed elbows and ball jointed wrists now. So if you have the biceps 
positioned like this, you can get a double blend out of the arms. And then also for new articulation, you have this piece right here, which this is his elemental selector. selector. So right now it's set to stone. Uh, you can set it to earth, air, water, fire, and ice. Uh, you can't set it to light because that's the one in the center. But uh, I mean, his heart light is already set to light as an element. So you just say that it's always active or that. Uh, or you could just like pop off light and like swap it with one of the other spots. So now you have his final form, which this form is uh, in the lore of my series, which I don't know if I'm ever going to, I want to write it out or do a video about it, but in the lore of my series, this is his perfected form. This is his form after he and uh, myself, Mock, team up for a significant amount of time and uh, find this guy's old lab and like defeat uh, some Scrawl and Karaka that took it over. This is basically his final upgraded form where he's as powerful, if not more powerful, than he was before the Matoran universe was created. Uh, and that about does it for uh, this video. I still have not come up with a name for this character, and I think I might leave him unnamed. Because it kind of seems like, well, he's a great being, so he just goes by great being. Uh, and then maybe like his actual name will be so would be something like myself mock would call him to uh, make fun of the fact that despite him being a great being, he's being treated as less than one of his own creations. Uh, but that does it for well, not less than being equal to his own creations rather than above them. It was kind of his character arc as he goes from joining myself mock in order to regain his abilities and not thinking anything of myself mock to him and his he sees the self mock and himself as equals so that's sort of my idea of this character um who knows maybe some point down the line when i get more light blue pieces or just some light blue mo different light blue masks uh, I might do another video on this mock, or I might do a revamp of it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, until then, uh, this has been Di Dana Talbert, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last Bionicle video for a while. Uh, besides maybe that video explaining lore, but who knows. Until then, have... A wonderful week everybody and if I do have content next week see you next week if not then see you whenever I have content again